used to love it, but I used to love it more. FaceTime with my shorty on tour. And she texting purple hearts, cause she know that we a war, yeah. Niggas keep reaching and dissing. Can't afford mistakes, and I don't listen. Let me call my bros for assistance. You gon' make me call my bros. Dude, J King Squad, we are back with another reaction video. Today we're about to react to Stormy Daniels' six, 60 Minutes interview spoof. Now, for no for you, a lot of you, you know, on social media and a whole bunch of stuff on the news, this has been buzzing all over. And I'm not going to, you know, get in detail or anything, but let's see what T Pendale has been, you know, take a turn on and what he's been actually seeing in his highs. What actually you know in his own way of thinking let's get it back with another video baby Woo! what's going on it's your boy tbdl welcome back to another video if you don't know who stormy daniels is it's fine i put a link in the description that gets you caught up on the story so you'll be like in the loop in the know you'll know what's going on smash mm -hmm. the like button yeah. subscribe if you haven't done so already if you're new welcome to the channel all of that is free turn your notifications on i appreciate all support let's get the video started oh and uh don't forget the bloopers are at the end don't leave early Hello everyone at home, welcome back to 58 and a half minutes. I'm here with Stormy Daniels. Do they call you anything else? Like maybe Stormy D or Hurricane Storm? Just D's. What do you mean D's? D's nuts. Oh, okay. <laughs> so what do you do? I am an adult entertainer. And how did you meet uh, Mr. Trump? It was at a golf event. He approached me. It's hard to say no to D's. I accepted to meet him. Now, when you all had dinner, did you go out somewhere and eat? Uh, did you come back to his place? Was it at a hotel? I met him in his hotel room mm -hmm. and we just um, started talking. We had um, a long conversation about himself. So tell me, uh, how did that make you feel? I had enough up to here and I decided to give him some of his own medicine. I took that magazine that he was so proud of and I decided to um, spank him. Just want a demonstration for the, uh, for the viewers at home. I took his Donald magazine and I rolled it up and I said, drop your trousers and bend over. And I was like, oh. and he loved it. What happened after that? I gave him a few minutes and I went to the ladies room. Um, after I was freshened up, I came back out and um, he was butt naked, except for the red tie, all sprawled out on the bed. <laughs> what? Uh, moving right along, you were given $100,000 for hush money. Is that correct? That's correct. But you aren't hushing. You're dry snitching. Viewers at home want to know, everyone wants to know, are you going to give that $100,000 back? What? Are you going to give the money back? I don't understand the question, so I think we should go to the next one. Uh, were you ever approached by anyone from Trump's party? Yes, I was, actually. It was one day leaving the gym. I was with my infant daughter, and I was going to the car. Wait, let me guess. He came up behind you and said, Girl, you look good. Won't you back that ass up? Mm, no. Nope. <laughs> he said, uh, Toot, toot, twerk. Girl, I want to see you twerk. Make that big with twerk. Not exactly. Okay, he said, uh, slop on my knob, like corn on the cob. Um, actually, he actually told me that if I don't walk away or leave him alone, I and these would disappear. Did that make you feel threatened? I did. I never leave home without these. <laughs> Here at 58 and a half minutes, we have a very popular show. It's actually one of Trump's favorite shows. So he may be watching right now. If he's watching... What would you like to say to him? Um, I want him and everyone to know that I'm telling the truth. He knows I'm telling the truth. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I still have nightmares of seeing him naked with the red tie. Oh, oh my goodness. Yeah. That is so sad. You must be going through. Oh, hold on. <laughs> but I'm thinking uh, for $100,000, um, I could have round two and hit the Trump twice. Do it. Oh Boom pose one. Straight. Yeah, straight Same. here. Um, bring me more leg. Yeah, that's perfect. And then, boom, a little bit more lean over. So uh, this is a serious question, a little different, but serious at the same time. When you went to the bathroom, did you do a number one or a number two? Um, let me think. Oh, I remember the first time. I did both. A number one and a number two. Yes. Okay. And I didn't flush. Uh. Uh. And I didn't wash my hands. <laughs> <laughs> That's nasty. Let me do it one more time. Just tighten the tie up a little bit. Professional. That is something else. I cannot 
believe me. Yeah. Uh, still in time? Or reach over quick. Well, you can't get to the bag. It's no, great. but so give me that. I want, I want to get that and then just touch my hand a little bit because I feel like the first time I pulled away from you too quick. Okay. So I want you to get like I'm here. Trying to, I'm trying to get you the heads up to No, nah, I want the heads up. So you come on okay. and then I, I'll, react, I'll react to you. Come on with it. <laughs> Maybe he wanted a spanking also. Right. Hey, <laughs> one more time for the road. We want to try it? Yeah. Oh, 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 my God. God. <laughs> 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 Well, make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because gang, gang, gang. Well, you know, squad, squad. Assemble, formation. Uh, let me shut up and let me just end this video. But remember, guys, give it your all or lose it all. Love y'all.